Tom Overhill, Tom the Tutor, as all the kids refer to him, is just a legend with our organization. You know, he is all about helping the kids get through their school years, but mostly he's about building their self-esteem. The first time we met Tom was in the Costa Center, and Allie started coming to the Costa Center to get blood. She was about two years old. He's helped Brian in many ways, and um, you know, as a mom, I can see where Brian looks forward uh, to, you know, hanging out and talking and learning with Tom. And I know we were unable to change his uh, appointment dates unless Tom was there. So he's a pretty important guy to our family, and and uh, we just love him to death. The thing about Tom is that he's extremely good with the kids, and he can help you without you realizing that he's helping you. But the moms know. We see it. Brian didn't always know that he was working on schoolwork or math or his academics or his cognitive memory, but I knew, and I could sit back and I could see him. He was relaxed. He had no idea that that's the type of work that he was doing to him. He was just hanging out with Tom, talking hockey and, and playing games, and you know, and he would throw in some equations. You know, a kid with cancer goes through so much and misses so much of their childhood besides their school, and they're constantly worrying about whether I'm going to get back in the same classroom or different things like that. Tom works with them and makes them feel good about themselves. Besides helping them scholastically, he helps them emotionally. Tom's awesome. Um, he made my uh, days at uh, Carnival running easier. They talk about sports, get it off of my mind, off of chemo. To tear Allie up, Tom always sneaks in the big pickles. Because mom says, Allie, you don't need those pickles. And Tom says, it's okay. So Tom, I think sometimes, you know, maybe he's not working with me. He's on your side. The comments for Tom are just so over the top. And these are kids who maybe he worked with when they were six, seven, eight in junior high school, and now they're going on to college. And they write back after their graduation and they said, you know what, he would never be here where he is today if it weren't for Tom. He's always that guy that when he shows up, it doesn't matter who's sitting there, which child it is, or what's going on. You get a little smile at them because they've seen Tom peek around the corner, or they hear his voice coming, or that impression that he's still practicing. <laughs> Congratulations, Tom, from everyone at Friends of Kids with Cancer, especially the kids. Thank you for helping them believe in themselves. Congratulations, Tom. We're very happy that you're the recipient of this award. It's well-deserved, and um, we're very happy to be part of uh, your celebration. Congratulations, Tom. Here's to you. <laughs>